May those who wish for their nation to develop, promote unity and strongly unite for the cause. Namaskar, Akashaka Pandey, University of Allahabad. What if the Eastern states weren't given privilege? What if the Kashmiri Pandits weren't allowed to propagate their culture since they lived among a different crowd? What if today we were asked to present uniform opinions? and not in three languages given here, in one and only language. Loss of identity. Out of the 47 civilizations known to have existed, only one or two survive, and our nation is one of them. In just under a minute, I'll tell you why. India houses a diverse ethnography. Over 1700 odd dialects, more than 100 tribes, over 13 races, and a gamut of religions, concocting their own senses of music, dance, art, attire, and way of life, yet harboring the fundamental commonality of live, let live, and live while appreciating others. All this leads to Swami Vivekananda's reaffirmation of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, Rabindranath Tagore's idea of pluralism, Sakya Jatri's belief of cultural intercourse, Sardar Patel's idea of national tolerance, and Sir, uh, Dr. Kalam's talisman of brotherhood, and Ashoka's thoughts and peace. As they all believe, and so do I, that unity is the very strength of diversity. Monoculture will always lead to decay, multiplicity always to prosperity, my friends. India is not a melting pot existing to achieve cohesion. Rather, we must become a bowl of salad searching for harmony, vibrant, colorful, and coexisting. I prefer if every hypothesis is betrayed by a proof, and there exists one here too. It is called the Diversity Prediction Theorem, which states that the diverse almost always outperforms the group of the best by a substantial margin. So we have a sort of an equation in our hands now. Diversity plus x equals utopia. What is this unknown variable x? What is barricading us from achieving this bliss? Borders. Borders made of tall cemented walls, relentless mountains and wafing rivers that have tasted blood. Borders of distorted religions. Borders that we create everywhere we go, like self-proclaimed universe of comfort zones. We create borders arguing over truth, unmindful that the truth comes from the word tree, and the last time I checked, we had more than one kind. But we aren't kind enough to listen to a story that does not resemble us. Borders of not accepting a kind of beauty that is different from ours, but opposite you, all the same. Democracy, my friends, is measured by composite index. It has to be judged, not just by the institutions that formally exist, but by the extent to which different voices from diverse sections of the society can actually be heard. Democracy, which speaks with one voice, which privileges obedience over freedom, which uses fear to instill ideological uniformity is a contradiction in terms. And when will we learn that? Democracy means diversity of outlook. Hence, the education ideal is not uniformity, but unity. The mode in which differences are expressed, accepted, and respected is very important. The shift from the politics of ideology to the politics of identity from a largely political to a primarily cultural view of social relations has transformed the texture of democracy. Without a sense of community and belongingness, it becomes hollow. On the all too sem sem functional semantics of integration, the term national integration means cohesion and not fusion. Unity and not uniformity, solidarity and not regimentation of the several discrete sections of society constituting the larger community. Integration does not mean changing diversity into uniformity. Rather, it means congruence of diversities leading to uni unity where both similarities and differences are maintained. Even though I be for the communal classes and the all too frequent denunciations of each other, I am optimistic. I am optimistic because this discussion is taking place. I am optimistic because all of you are here. And I am optimistic because the change is inevitable. And I hope that no democracy loses its voice in the form of uniformity. Because India would not have been a democracy but a colony of British. 
if different voices, different religions, different hands working together towards a single goal wouldn't have united. Because zero, my friends, stands different values depending on where it is placed. Imposing uniformity might give your slate all black to write on. But my friends, remember, black does not reflect colors, black only absorbs it. I would like to end by saying that no democracy should grab uniformity and lose diversity. Thank you and Jai Hind.